Sterling has brought me a very, very much, let me say, a mighty long way. A man who always encouraged me from when I was eight years old, eight, nine years old. And even when the whole world turned their backs on me, he always be my friend. In times of trouble, I can run to Bishop Sterling and I could say, you know, I'm going through this and I'm going through that. And the encouraging word would say to me, also, Moses did not have it easy with the people of Israel. And in spite of everything, I am going to encourage you to hold on. Because a day is coming when every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is our Lord. And I just want to say I have so many remembrance of my father. I have so many so many things that we talk about. And today, I want to say his word and his encouraging words to me. Live on. We want churches, many churches. And it's a man who loves to blow the bands. A man who never loves no cold fire. Because he's a very much warm person when he comes to the work of God. And I can remember when he went to a church and the church was sleeping. And he stood up in the church and he said, Look, you know, I leave, man, there's going to be a night at a funeral. And he stood up and I said to him, Bishop Sterling, it's not your time. He said, All right, my son, I have this under control. And he took the mic from the moderator. And he said, Ruthie Bella, servant boy, senseless girl, mother of the bands, greetings, oh. Sterling, that's greetings, oh. That's Sterling. Yes, sir. That's Sterling. Yeah, man. That's my bishop. Lady, 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 lady. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's the bishop. Remind me of Mother Robinson. Hey! 